Hello, Aquarius. This is going to be your reading for October. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't read reversals, so um, if that's not your thing, you know, there's a lot of wonderful readers out there who go all into it. Um, my reads come out kind of the same because I do them a little differently. Welcome to all my new uh, speak subscribers and thank you for subscribing. You don't know how much that helps. I got one turned over. And this will be for the month of October. Come on, hang on to your cards there, girl. Alright. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Okay, where are you at right now? At this point in time, this is October 2nd. And I'm doing these reads. You're at the Hierophant, which is a spiritual leader or religion of some kind or you're following a spiritual path and you got a message about the truth so it is the age of Aquarius our beginning so maybe you're being enlightened of your own gifts clarify the page of swords please Got, got you moving away from something. Um, could be job, family, situation. Might be traveling across water. Um, going on a journey. Okay? That's where you're at right now. First of the month. Let's see what we get. Ooh, deception. There's been some deception here, either on your part or the other party. Cross watchers. Could be you. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest behind because this deception causes a tower, a tower moment. It could be a good deception. It could be a surprise. Um, or it could be lies, deceit, and it causes a tower moment at the beginning of the month. Now remember, this is like fortune telling, so if you want to be on the straight up about everything and avoid the tower moment, that is very possible. Because you're feeling like your hands are tied, but there is victory here. Um, you got the Eight of Swords and... and the cancer card, which is, uh, it could be a cancer that you're dealing with. But, uh, there is victory in this situation, regardless of the deception in the tower. I'm feeling like your hands are tied. So, it's a matter of perception, kind of, in this situation, in the beginning of the month. It could be what you want. And... That could be where that victory card comes in. What's going to change is the emperor leadership, uh, a leadership role, uh, possibly in this situation. Uh, could be the other party, could be you. The leadership role is going to change, or it's an Aries. And there's a message about this coming in. This is going to change. Or somebody's going to stay hush, hush. Okay. Clarify the page of swords. Page of, page of swords. Page of wands, please. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. 
And this one came out. Yeah, there's been some disappointment here, but this is going to change. The leadership's going to change because there was a message about it that caused some disappointment, but this is going to change. So you can actually turn that in reverse. And you can turn these in reverse. This is what I mean about my, my readings being a little bit different than some others. So that's what's going to change. Let's find out what your challenge is. Got it. Sharing. Your challenge is going to be equal give and take. Balancing out the scales. And there's a page of cups here. So somebody is offering you a message of love. And this is your challenge. Could be a Pisces. Because there's a fish in that cup. And you got the queen of cups. So yeah, there is... Your challenge is, is love. Your, your challenge is, is equal give and take and, and love. Accepting an offer. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Because not every read is for everyone. Uh, let me bring my... Bring my... Uh, microphone down. I hope you were able to hear me. And it involves marriage. Okay, because this, this is the love department. It involves a family situation or marriage. Four of Wands. And it's going to be dropping your burdens. The Ten of Wands. So, whatever the situation is in your love life, it's going to be dropping burdens. And this is for the long haul. It may be slow moving. But this is either an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I see a lot of water here though. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, in, in the challenge department. But a lot of fire and earth in the love department. Hmm. So, yeah, the situation is going to involve marriage, dropping your burdens, and being in it for the long haul. I mean, it is what it is. Okay? Like you say, I don't pretend to know what everybody's situation is. I just read the cards. Ah. Career and finances, we got the Four of Swords, which means you're taking a break, taking a rest. You need some downtime. And it's judgment, either by you or by spirit, or by the other party. There has been a judgment call made here in your career and finances. And it looks like everybody's happy about it. See? Look at the bottom of the card. Everybody's happy. Clarify the judgment and four swords, please. Whoa, too many cards. Okay. It's something you're not seeing. You need to kind of look around. And, and and try to discover it is what 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 you're missing here because you know you're taking a break but there's being a judgment call made and this is in your career and finances so it, it would probably be wise to pay attention to um, what's going on around you uh, so that you can prosper from this situation because you got the world card too which is endings and beginnings something coming full circle so 
in your career in finances, you could very well be getting a promotion, um, even losing a job. It, it could be either or. So, uh, take that how it resonates. You know, if it doesn't resonate, it's not your read, okay? I just read energy for the collective. And at the end of the month, you're holding on to something out of fear. Pretty much, it's your money. Um, you got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning in money. But you're holding on to it. You're holding on to something out of fear. Uh, maybe it's you got a windfall or you got, a you got that promotion. And you don't want to tell anybody. So you're hanging on to it uh, for fear that maybe uh, this marriage or this love interest of yours will um, be gold digger. I'm hearing gold digger. Uh, so maybe there's a reason why you're holding on to it. Okay. Get the wheel of fortune below that. Let's clarify that though. And remember, these are not gender specified. This could be male or female. Come on now. All right. Yep. Could be a possible pro possible pregnancy involved, or you're just sitting pretty and and you're enjoying it because you've worked hard for it. Okay, so if there's no pregnancy involved, this is you sitting pretty as the empress with your money, your your the way you want things, and all is well in your world. Either that or there's a pregnancy involved. Which could be what you were working for. Because <laughs> on the bottom of that, we got the lovers. Alright. Wow. Okay. I'll pull one from the Wild Unknown to get some advice. Uh, and some it's ascension uh, cards and the hidden realms okay this is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus let's never forget Venus Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see, beginning of where you're at right now. What does Spirit have to say about that? The star. Wow, okay. So, your peace, tranquility. Uh, you got the star. You're at the star right now. So whatever this is, is what you want. Let's see what this tower and chariot and deception is all about. Okay, we got the wheel of fortune. It's ultimately your decision. The wheel is spinning and Jupiter is direct. So, this is your decision. It could possibly be a Cancer because you got the chariot here. You got two water signs here. You got water here. And a lot of pentacles. And water in the disappointment area too. Which is going to change. So... Ball's in your court, Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune is spinning. 
how this comes out is up to you all right and we've got the ace of pentacles so your money situation is going to change um spirit's telling you that just hold in there you know <laughs> the disappointment that you feel is going to go away get the ace of pentacles okay love life or no sorry your challenge not love life that that's the next one seven of cups okay something here is an illusion or confusion you could be confused about this this queen of cups and this page of cups and you're not sure and that's why you're you're trying to balance out the scales is because you're not sure you're confused you need to come out of confusion there figure out what's right what what's right for you and then we got the eight of wands in your love department which is excellent because this is a message coming in and this message includes the marriage and someone offering their pinnacle for the long haul so you'll get this message and it'll help you drop your burdens awesome career and finances come on now little cards ah, come on now Career and finances. Aquarius. Okay. You got the chariot. Again. Career and finance could involve could it involve a cancer. I'm serious, because you got the chariot here too. So um in your career and finances you're gonna be victorious. Spirits in something has to end for a new beginning so whatever the case may be for you um that's what i'm hearing is is there has to be an ending for a new beginning but you will be victorious once you make up your mind and at the end of the month like you got a few things going on yep you got the moon something's being hidden from you could be this pregnancy or it could be money something's being hidden spirits in you need to you need to go within and seek your seek seek your answers because Whatever you've been working on involves money. And you're holding on to it out of fear. And there could be a possible pregnancy. And then we got the Eight of Cups. So somebody's going to walk away. Oh, wait a minute. The Nine of Cups. So it's wish fulfillment. Sorry, I miscounted. I looked at the card wrong. It's Nine of Cups. So whatever this moon is, whatever's being hidden, is actually your wish fulfillment. So why are you hanging on to something out of fear? It's something that you've been working for. It's something that you really want. And Spirit's handing it to you. So... You need to get out of this energy of holding on to something out of fear because this is wish fulfillment and the ace of cups so yeah i would 
And you got the Four of Wands again, the marriage card. So, Four of Wands twice. Chariot. Twice. Ace of Pentacles, twice. Okay? So whatever this is for you, this is your wish fulfillment. This is this is what you want. So regardless of the deception and the tower moment, this is your peace. This is your tranquility. Get through the illusion because it's waiting. Everything is waiting for you. Everything. And there's a message coming in real fast about it. Okay? That was an excellent, excellent, excellent read. It's the best one so far. Okay. All right. Let's do your yoni spread for your ascension. And then we'll do the hidden realms and that'll be your reading. Okay. Okay, this is for Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. Okay. Reality beyond appearances is the first card out. We got two. We got courage and clarity. So, have strength in the truth. Reality beyond appearances. Have strength in the truth. Because it's it's what you want. It's really what you want. You're going to be clear on whatever the situation is. Spirit's advice. Illusion. We got the illusion card again. This is twice now. Okay, now, this is what I mean by illusion. I want you to look at this card really, really good. Because you see that little bitty tiny rain cloud with a little bit of rain coming out. And how that person is dressed to a T. Completely covered like it's going to thunderstorm. That's an illusion. What you're fearing is an illusion okay and that's spirits advice final outcome is the moon everything that was hidden will be revealed So don't keep secrets. Don't let anybody else keep any secrets. All will be revealed. And you'll get to know the truth. Because clarity is here. Okay? And on the bottom of that, we have self-destruction. Please don't do that. Don't destroy this beautiful outcome due to a little deception, okay? Because this this is a great, great read. All right, hidden realms. When they come out upright, they're an ally. In reverse, they are a challenger. And then we have dual cards too. Okay.
All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. We have the word Lord, communication, praise, and dishonesty. And we have the wise woman of Wonderland in reverse. And the desert prince, survival and false promises, upright. Uh, the wise woman of Wonderland is integrity and compromise. So, I'll read these to you. Where's my book? There's my book. And that'll be your read, Aquarius. Okay. The word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that the positive interactions can be expected when he arrives as your ally. He only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the word, world, word, world, it blesses you back. When you say affirming supportive words, they carry an energy that returns to you in physical form. Remember that each one has the power and will resonate into the universe, seeking its reflection into manifest form. Your body responds to praise as does everything in the world around you. Praise it for its, in for its inherent health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything that you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important. Praise your bills, give thanks for your services you enjoy, and watch the ability to pay them increase as you align with spirits increasing power. This is also a time to remember powerful practice of affirmations. Write them down and speak them aloud as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so, and it will be. It is a very auspicious sign when the word Lord chooses to be your ally. Okay, we got integrity and compromise, wise woman of wonderland, in reverse. When the wise woman of wonderland appears as your challenger, this is a sign that you may have compro compromised yourself out of fear. Ah, uh, we already got the fear card. Have you been in denial about the truth of your situation? Have you sold yourself short rather than ask for what you really need? Have you given up your dream for another because of you fear abandonment? The wise woman of Wonder Wonderland is gently reminding you that you count. Claim your good and never settle for less. Be fearless and make it so. Why hang around for some for more disappointment? When wonderful adventures and opportunities are waiting to unfold for you. Pretty direct uh, message there. The Desert Prince. Fifty-five. Change. Fives are always change. Okay, this is survival and false promises. When you stumble upon the desert prince, you receive a gift. The plant life that exists in the desert environment is well defended. Tough and succulent even though it gets little or no water. In spite of external conditions, Extraordinary life can form and thrive. Be tough, have courage, and dare to dream no matter what the circumstances. It may, not, it may seem like a hard time, but not only will you survive, you will thrive. 
in spite of the conditions you su you'll succeed dry spells are also true tests of faith and courage expect nothing less than what is in your most precious dreams and watch miracles manifest wonderful end to that reading Aquarius I hope you enjoyed that I did um, if you did please like subscribe and share and I will see you guys next month in November love you bye bye <laughs>